Hey guys, welcome back to the True Crew. And today I'm back with more predictions of the Champions League. And today it'll be Dortmund versus PSV. So, what's the aggregate? The aggregate is 1 1. Hmm. I thought it would be Dort something to do with Dortmund because it's most likely expected for Dortmund to win. Or can PSV be an underdog this year? I don't know, but now let's get into it. Okay then, Nathan, tell us about Dortmund. All right, like always, guys, let's read information on the players, play style, and the key injuries. So let's do the players. We have Royce, Reyna, Sule, Kobo, and Schlotterbeck. I'm sorry if I did not pronounce that name right. So Royce. He knows where to put the ball on the pitch and does great powerful long shots. Reyna, he can pass the ball to any part of the pitch and he can shoot the ball. Shooting the ball I don't think is expected. I should, it should be in here, but I think the boss passed the boss. Decent one. Sule, his passing rate is a good fit for his, for his season. Kobo, his reflexes on the line and his strong presence in the one-on-one -on -one situations. Schlotter back. He plays he plays good long balls and diagonal passes and is a real threat from the from the set pieces. Okay. Those are not bad on these guys, so which means it's pretty good. So go to the play style. Building out from the back in a three plus one shape and under analyzing the six to drop in between or to the left or to the center backs. I think that's a fine situation to have for a play style. I don't think it's the personally best play style to have in your team, but yeah, I'm sorry, that's my dog chewing the bone. Don't mind the noise in the background, okay guys? So we have now final key injuries. Schlotterbeck, he was in the key player play place. So which means it's not good to lose a player that's that big. Okay, guys, let's move on. To, all right, guys, so that's the evidence about Dortmund. Okay, Nathan, now tell us about PSV. I said Dortmund wrong, I know, guys. But <laughs> let's go on to PSV. So we have, we have Des, Lozano, De Jong, and not Frankie De Jong, Luke De Jong, Lang, and then Pe Pepe. So now Des, strong attacking prowess, Solid defensive play and being excellent in possession. Lozano, his skills on the wing and crosses are excellent. Dijon, Luke, Dijon. His ver versa versatility, I don't know how to say that word, but as a striker is evident in his season. Okay, and then the other two says no evidence, which means I don't know how well they play. That's the thing. So that's thing I have to keep in mind when I do my prediction. So play style. They like to adapt their playing tempo. The team mostly likes to play quick vertical passes. Well, I think that what it means is that they do quick passes, not just like touch, run, run, and then pass. I think it's like one, two, one, two, one, two, like pass, 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 like no, stop it. And now let's go to the injuries. We have Wang, the guy who had kind of just, the guy who had people have no evidence. I don't know how well, but how big that is, then, guys. Okay, guys, so that is the information about PSV. Okay, based on that, what's your prediction, Nathan? I predict that Dortmund is going to go through because the evidence I gave on PSV, two players' evidence was completely missing, which means it must not be that well. So what's your prediction? Despite the missing evidence, I think I'm going to go for the underdog this time, and I'm going to say PSV. So we're both we're both went opposite. Stay make sure to stay make sure to stay tuned on on Friday to see if our predictions were correct. So thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you all enjoyed and make sure enjoy, enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe and turn the bell notification to never miss a video like this. And that is a goodbye from the Chew Crew.